Hey, we have a little bit of an issue here. I don't really know how to handle it. Um, I had come, I had come through the drive-through, and I had got the number one Big Mac meal. Yeah. And I ordered it with a Coca-Cola, but I'm pretty sure that this is like a root beer. Is that something you serve? A root beer? No. You don't have the root beer? Nope. What is this that I'm tasting then? Uh, I don't know. You have like Dr. Pepper or something? Because I don't, I can't I place it. A, I do have a Dr. Pepper, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yeah, I definitely ordered the Coke. This definitely is a Coke. It might be the Dr. Pepper, but the thing is, is that it's not what I ordered, but I, I kind of like it. I do kind of like it. So I don't really know what to do here. Um, I want to call and complain, but at the same time, I think I like this better than Coke. Okay. So what do we do? Do I still get my money back even though I like it, or what's going on? Um, if you actually, take if, back, I cannot do anything else. Well, no, it's the wrong but, one. You gave me the wrong thing. It says Coke on my yeah. receipt, and this is like well, a Dr. Pepper or come, something. If you want to come back, I can have you what to get you a different drink. Can you, re you can replace it? Yeah. Can we replace it with another Dr. Pepper, though? Because I do kind of like it, you know? I cannot do that. Why I, not? I can only replace the drink. But you, you, owe me, you owe me one drink because you screwed it up. I just want it to be the same and again. That's all. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking, I help you. Hey, um, what? I had ordered a number one with a Coke, but this, this is not a Coke. What is this? Is this like root beer? What's going on here? We don't have root beer, so we okay. Root beer. Is it what? A, it tastes kind of weird. It's definitely not a Coke. What is this? Like Pepsi or something? I wouldn't be able to tell you. It might be Dr Pepper. Oh. Yeah, that could be it. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in years. Shit. Hold on, wait. Yeah, that's Dr. Pepper. Okay. Um, I had ordered a Coke though. So, what do you want to? How do you want to handle this? Uh, you can come back through for a Coke. Okay. Thing is though, now that you said Dr. Pepper, you know, I'm I kind of like it. If I come back through, could you replace it anyway, even though I like it, or do I have to be dissatisfied? Because you did screw up. But I like it. Hello? Downtown McDonald's, this is Casey. Casey, I had ordered a Coke, and that nice young lady helped me to determine that this must be a Dr. Pepper. Um, I, and that's not what I had ordered, so I don't know what... She, I said, how are we going to handle it? And then she just gave the phone to you. Um, so the only thing that I can do about that is either I can have you come back and we can get you the right pop. Otherwise, I can write mm -hmm. your name down in our customer recovery mm -hmm. book and you can get it. Well, here's the thing, though, because I don't know if she told you. I do. Um, I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in years. I didn't even know you had them. And I'm really enjoying this, like more than I would have liked the Coke. So I don't know. Do I still get my money back because you messed up or do I have to be dissatisfied? You know, I feel like I might have you on a technicality here. You know what I mean? I mean, it's. Because you did, you did screw up, but I like it. Yes, so I don't know how to help you there because if there's no, not like a actual problem, usually if we mess up an order, if we mess up food and the customer isn't satisfied with it, then that's when we offer you guys to come back and get what you need correctly. Okay, but you did screw up, but I am satisfied both, so I don't know how to handle this. So, I mean, if you're satisfied, then I don't see what the problem is. Well, you made a mistake. This was supposed to be a Coca-Cola, but instead, I have this delicious Dr. Pepper. I am loving this thing. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to do then. Well, okay. How about this? You said you could remake the drink for me. Can we remake it, but can we make it Dr. Pepper again this time? Um, but this time on purpose. Do you see what I'm saying? And then it won't be no, a mistake. No, I can't do that because then I cannot do that because then there is no problem that is getting directed to me about... Well, no, 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 no. Because it's the wrong drink by accident. And so if we go back and we dump it out and we put it in on purpose, then I'm good to go. Yeah, so you're telling me right now that you wanted a Coke and you got a Dr. Pepper and there's not a problem with it. So no, I love it. It's anything. not a problem. If I love it. If you want to come back and get the refund for the dollar and eight cents, I can do that for you. And then can I buy um, another Dr. Pepper then with that money? Hey, hi. I had ordered um, a number one, a Big Mac meal with a Coke. And what I have here, I made it all the way home. I didn't even think to check. This is like a Dr. Pepper and a quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, okay. So you, 
give me a sec. Let me well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Can you wait one second? Yeah. Because I really like this better, honestly. I wish that I'd ordered a Dr. Pepper because I haven't had one in years. This tastes great. And um, I was thinking about getting a quarter pound with cheese anyway, and I'm pretty sure that with the cheese, it's more expensive than the Big Mac, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, but you guys did screw up. Do you see what I'm saying? But, so I'm not, uh, I, I'm really, your name, though, in the book. I, well, I'm still satisfied, though. I'm not, like, dissatisfied, but you guys did mess up. It's both. So I don't know, should I, like, go on Twitter and, like, put you guys on blast and make a complaint about it? Um, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to do either, because normally when you guys mess up, it makes me upset. It'll, like, forget my nuggets or something. But this time, I feel like, I don't know, whoever was getting this quarter pounded with cheese, maybe they're going to be pissed off, but I'm not. I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah. But at the same time, you guys did make a mistake, and I think you need to be held responsible for that, and I deserve something for free, don't I? Um, what happens... When, what? Can, when, the, when that happens, we write your name in the book, and then when you come back, you can get whatever you ordered for free. What I ordered, or could I get this again? Because I like this better. Could you put me down for another quarter pound of witch cheese with uh, uh, Dr. Pepper instead of the that Big Mac? It would have to be what you ordered. It's not. That's not what it says on the receipt or anything. Here, can you give me a sec? I have to oh my God. order and drive through, then I can... Well, no, it. no, I don't want to wait while you take care of another customer. You should make them wait while you take care of me. I was here first. And I'm a yeah. little bit I'm a little bit selfish like that, you know? Like, I was here first, you need to take care of me first, or... Yeah. Just, you know, so tell them to hold okay. on. I'll wait, I'll wait while you tell them that they're going to have to wait, and then you'll come back to me first, okay? Okay. All right, go. Thanks for calling Stinson McDonald's. To apply, please visit www.1teammcd. Invalid entry. Thanks for calling Stinson McDonald's. To apply, please. Thank you for calling McDonald's. In a few words, tell me why you are calling today. I need to speak with the manager, please. Thank you, robot. You can say things like mobile app help. Give restaurant feedback or put the manager the on, God damn it, right fucking now. Sorry, I didn't understand. You can say things like new ideas or suggestions, arch card balance, complaint, or employment at McDonald's. Sorry, I didn't get that. You can say things like Hello? Hello? Hello, Wendy's? Yes. Is this the manager? Yes. Okay, um, I was going to come in there and get some food, but I wanted to call and talk to the manager first. I'm a little bit concerned. You guys have a two-star review up on Google, and I just wanted to give you a chance to respond to that before I come in. Okay. It says that this person, this was from a month ago, it says that they made them wait 20 minutes for a salad. When they got the salad, they had messed up my order. They said they will give me another salad while I eat the rest of my order, but 20 okay, minutes mom, went by and they forgot. No, it's not me. Ma'am, that's not me. That's just a review online. I just wanted to see if you wanted to give your side to it, if you wanted to respond to the review online. Oh, no, I do not want to Well, here's another one. It says that they ordered two 10-piece nuggets. Guess how okay, many nuggets so are in a 10-piece? Wrong. There's only day, nine. Sir. It says wrong. There's only Hello, McDonald's. Hello? Hey, listen, um, I was going to come in there to get my Big Macs and stuff, but I'm just a little bit concerned with this negative review that I'm seeing on Yelp. Uh, the customer had wrote that they had ordered a Coca-Cola and they had received a Dr. Pepper instead. Is this something that you're aware of? Um, no. It says that this was from six months ago. It's on Yelp.com for you guys down there. You're giving them the wrong drink. Is this problem? Has that problem been like uh, rectified at all? Do you know? Like taken care of? Well, yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure because I'm thinking if six months have gone by and you didn't even know about it, you know, you didn't know that this guy on Yelp.com wasn't happy. He only left you two stars, sir, and that's that's out of ten. So that's not very good. But I hadn't seen any response from the business owner on the Yelp, so I just wanted to call, you know, give you guys a chance to tell your side of the story. Um, 
unfortunately, our GM isn't here. I would give you to him. So. Well, how do you feel about the whole situation? Were you there when it ha- It says six months ago. It doesn't have an exact date, but it says six months ago for the reveal. I would have to know what day. Well, were you there when the incident had occurred? Because he says that he had ordered uh, Coca-Cola but received a Dr. Pepper soda instead. I don't want to come down there and get Cokes for my whole family and then get home only to find out that, lo and behold, it's Dr. Pepper. That's the last thing that we need during this time of national crisis, sir. Um, you wouldn't get... Our machine does it automatically. What had happened? It had happened in the past. And I'm just concerned for my family and my family's future. I get what you're saying, yeah. Um, it shouldn't happen, though. So. It shouldn't have happened in the first place, son. shouldn't have happened at all. Okay. All right. I guess, I guess we'll roll the dice on this one. Just make sure, maybe do a, tre- a test run before I get there. Make sure the Coke and the Dr. Pepper are separated, okay? They are, usually. So. Well, just double check, because it happened, like I said, it happened six months ago, and I just, I hate to think. I, I really hate to think. All right, uh, tie your shoes. I love you. Thank you. Bye. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, I can't, I, the sauce, oh my god. Ma'am, uh, I need to get the sauce taken care of here. I'm sorry? I got some of the wrong sauce. I got one from a Taco Bell instead. I gotta get this exchanged. I'm sorry, you have something from a Taco Bell? Yeah, I got the sauce from the Taco Bell, and I was trying to get the, like, your, like, the sauce from you guys, and... I uh, I got a whole bunch of this sauce. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come through the drive-through and then I just get this switched out. Uh, we don't get out Taco sa- Bell sauce, so I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> oh no, no, I have the Taco Bell sauce, and I need some of your barbecue sauce. And I got a thousand packets of of, uh, bar- or, um, of the hot sauce. And what's the equivalent of uh, barbecue? Uh, Eight hundred or something. Do that. Nope. Yeah, just give me like 800 Sorry. barbecues and I got a thousand Taco Bells. Hey, uh, there have been a screw up with my order. I had a 10 piece with barbecue sauce. But when I got home, all I have is the, um, do you know the hot sauce from Taco Bell? Yeah. I had some of that left over from last night, but that's it. So I don't know what to do here. Can I come in and trade them in for you? Absolutely. You can just come in and get new sauces. You're not going to win. No, 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 no. The t- I got the Taco Bell instead. That's what I'm saying from last night. Will that work with it? Is it compatible? Do you know? Hello, McDonald's. Yeah, hi, McDonald's. Hello? Uh, yes. Yes. Hi. Um, hey, uh, I was, I'm going to be coming in there to get some food. Uh, at your drive through establishment, but I wanted to make sure because I was at Burger King uh, just a, a few minutes ago. I just wanted to make sure, like, I wanted to see where we stand. As far as um, riding a bike up here? Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to ride a bike, like, through the drive through Okay, yeah, cool beans. All right, so um, just, all right, so I'll get your order here now. And instead of going through the drive-thru, just go to our front door and we'll we'll pay it out and hand you the food there. Well, no, I don't I don't yeah. want any like special treatment and like the drive-thru has like the it's barriers and everything. So I just our, for uh, my own safety, sir, I'd feel more comfortable that way. Right, right. Um, and it's not special treatment. It's it's how we do walk-up um, orders that aren't. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I got the bike though, so I'm not walking. Right, right. Uh, the bike, that's same thing as it's not a, a vehicle. You understand? It's not a yeah, a motorized is. vehicle. It's, de- it's definitely a vehicle, right. though. Okay. Right. All right. So bikes and walk-ups are we do we handle those as curbside orders. No, I will see. I'm I'm trying to avoid that because like I was already at the 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 other place. You know, the bad place. 
Um, but I'm coming to see you guys. I got the bike, you know, it, it, it'll be fine. Like really all I was trying to figure out was, you know, um, just, just, you know, people going to respect me and everything you, you personally and everything, since I don't drive, I just wanted to make sure that's definitely why I called to begin with. Like I didn't have. Oh yeah, absolutely. A, and I, I appreciate you for calling and double checking on this. Uh Okay. But, okay. Yeah, because like I didn't start. I didn't start with a completely different idea, and then like you misheard me and took it someplace else. That didn't happen. But I gotta go. I love you. No, 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 not at all. It didn't happen at all. And I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we do, we handle the the walk ups in bicycle orders. Okay, um, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Side. I'm gonna drive through on my bicycle. I'm honk, sorry. honk. Hong Kong. <laughs> Are you in my drive through right bike now? Horn. I got the little bike horn. I'll do it for you when I come through. Bye. I love you. All right. When you come, I'm just going to guide you forward, and we'll get you squared away. Okay. I love you. Uh, McDonald's. Hey, um, when you're going through the drive through is there a curb, like, before the building? What do you mean, like... Like, yeah, like, by the bill, is there, well, I'm going to be riding my bike through, and I just want to make sure there's a curb so I can do some sick tricks and, like, jumps and stuff off of it while I'm waiting. Oh, um, where, the lobby's not open right now. No, I know, to go through the drive through When I'm going through the drive through I was hoping there'd be a curb so I can do, because I got pegs on the bike, and I can do, like, mm-hmm. like jumps and, and spins and stuff mm-hmm. and do them, like, on the side of the curb for fun while I'm waiting. Oh, okay, well... In our lot, currently we are doing construction, so I, I wouldn't suggest doing that. <laughs> no, I meant, I meant like, because I'm only a bike, and so when it, I'm going through the drive through I'll have all the room that a car would have, and that's more than enough room for me to bust some pretty fucking dope tricks. So that's what I was going to do. Just in the space that I'm allotted, just do a couple of, like, I can do, uh, they're called stoppies. It's like a wheelie, but with the front. And I can do a fakie on that, which is backwards, and then upside down, too, from the pegs. I mean, you can look at you can look when you get here. I don't know, like. How well, to and then if there's it. a curb, I'm saying if there's a curb, I can go up on that and like do jumps and st- it doesn't take much. I can do a jumps off the little tiny curb and I'll be able to do some uh, like grab tricks in the air while I'm waiting. Okay, uh, you can look if you want to. Okay, but I just want to make sure that was because I went to the Burger King and the the manager came out and he had like a broom and he told me if I didn't leave, he was gonna hit me because I couldn't do tr- skate or couldn't do bicycle tricks. In the drive-thru, he said. Oh, okay. So th- is well, that not going to happen know. at McDonald's, though, right? I can do all the tricks I want? Uh, I mean, in, I've, that's up to you. I'm not going to tell you not to. So. Okay, good. Because I can put the front wheel up in the air, and then I bounce. Like, I bounce up and down on the back wheel. It's pretty fucking okay. cool. You're, you might, if you have YouTube on your phone, you might want to take a YouTube of me. <laughs> Can I help you? Hey, can we go through the drive-thru without getting anything? I'm sorry, what was that? I was wondering if we could go through the drive-thru without actually ordering anything. Just like without getting anything? No. No. Like I can't go just go through the, you know, just go through the drive-thru. I mean, just pull up and just not order anything and just drive and just pull through. You go through the drive thru you order there, then you come to the window. Oh no, I just, I just I didn't wanna I wanna drive through it, I just don't wanna order anything. For what reason? Oh just uh, for practice. You know, like go around and like I don't wanna hit the curbs and Becker McDonald. Hey, um, you guys are open for drive through time, right? Correct. Okay, I'm wondering, is it cool if I come through um, and just drive through the drive through without actually making an order? What? Is that okay? I just want to come through and drive through and go to the speaker with the screen and then the first window and the second window without actually ordering, oh. though. Okay, well, you have fun with that. Am I allowed to? Because they told me at Burger King I have to stop doing that or they're going to trespass me formally. Oh, my God, I'm so done. <laughs> Thank you for calling McDonald's. This is Ashley. How can I help you? 
Hey, I was just wondering if I could drive through the drive through a couple times without getting anything to kind of like warm up, you know, and then like, I don't know, maybe like the fourth or fifth time around I'll probably order something. Yeah, I don't see no problem with that. That's fine. I, you know what, Burger King, they told me I couldn't do that anymore. They're going to trespass me. Like, I just want, I need a couple warm-up laps before I'm like, you know, I'm just not ready. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not adjusting well to this whole, like, drive through only thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, no problem as long as you order something eventually. I don't see no problem oh, yeah, with eventually that. I do. It's, it's, it, it, the, the worst it's ever taken is, like, I think they got mad at me when it was, like, the ninth or tenth time when I didn't order but I did order by like the twelfth, but it was just a rough night that night. Usually it's like by the fourth or fifth time. Okay, well I would suggest maybe like four or five times, but after that would be a little weary. But, but oh yeah, it's just okay. it's just quick, it's just quick through. Like you'll just see me, and I'll just keep driving. You won't you won't even notice. I'll just keep on going. All right, I mean yeah yeah, sounds good. All Sounds right, good. very good. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I appreciate <laughs> you. I love you. You're you're a good. You are a good person. And, and you know, if it doesn't work on this drive through, Taco Bell's open too. I'm sure they won't mind. I don't know. They're weird sometimes about their sauce. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, yeah. well, good talking to you. All right. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Hey, um, do you guys do the delivery yourself, or do I have to call, like, Grubhubs? Okay, can you hold on for one second? Well, no, it's just a question, man. Come on. I, should, do I need to get on the app? No, you can call for a delivery. Okay. Um, I just wanted to know, is there a way to set that up over the phone like this? Yeah. All right, I'm sorry, man. I'm new to all this stuff, and I'm sick of going through the drive throughs Um... <clears throat> So can we set up, like, a dry run and get the delivery man over here just to see how it goes? Hey, I'm going to have to put you on hold right quick, though. Okay. Hurry up, please. I'm hungry. Jimmy John's Apple Valley. How you doing? Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah, you called. Well, yes, I did. I was, I'm sorry. I've never done this before. Yeah, I was, I'd like to talk about doing an order. Is that something we can do over the phone, okay, or do I have um, to get an app? Yeah, um, just what is your address? Just to check if you're in range. Well, I'm wondering, before we even commit to anything like that, I would like to do a dry run before we get started. Is that a service that you guys offer? What, what's that? Like a dry run, you know, just to make sure that everything's all set up right and everything's good to go. You mean your order? Well, no, I'd like the delivery. I'd like to place like an empty order, I guess, or a null order, a void order. And then just have the driver just come over here and then just ring the bell, you know, so I can, like, meet him, know what to expect as far as, like, what he'll be driving, how long it's going to take. So I've never ordered from you guys. So I just want to get a feel for it before I actually do an order. Um, I can ask my manager if we do that, but I'm not sure. They do it at the pizza place. I get that all the time. Oh, uh, well... I mean, I've never heard of that. So well, otherwise, I, I just, that. I don't know what to expect. Because then, like, how long does it take? You know, which way? Is he going to be coming from the east? Is he going to be coming from the west? Which way is he going to, you know, does he, like, what does his car sound like? What does he smell like? Things like that. Stuff that I can't know from over the phone. So then that way I'll know all that stuff. I'll put it down in my notebook. And then when he comes back the second time, I'll be able to match all the facts up. And I'll know that it's him. Okay, well, um, I can I can ask my manager if we do that, and I'll let you know. Could you, is what time okay? do you, do, well, could you stop by, maybe? Because I don't really know who I'm talking to, is all that I'm worried about. Okay, um, give me one moment. No, I don't mean right now. I meant, like, when your shift is over, you can come by, and then I'll meet you, like, through the door and everything. Nothing weird. I don't want to be a creep. I'm no um, pervert. I can ask my <laughs> I'm not a pervert. <laughs> I'm not. I promise. No, seriously though, but I'm not. So yeah, go ahead, ask the manager. You can mention that I'm not a pervert because I'm not. Hello. Hey, John, how can I help you? Hey, uh, one of the guys that was out delivering, um, they were driving around like a pervert. What? They were, like, when the guys were out driving, like, they're delivering the, you know, like, with the delivery, like, you know how they do, 
and like they're just driving around like a pervert. Like it was weird. What do you mean like a pervert? I'm the driver. I'd like to know what you mean. Cause you I'm were the one driving, driving like a pervert. Oh my god, you were driving like a pervert. What's the matter with you? How am I? Was I driving like a pervert? Were, I'd like you to explain I, that to me. Like, oh my god, I, I couldn't even see if your pants were on, but like you're definitely driving like a pervert. What does that even mean, sir? I was driving with the intent to deliver sandwiches in a timely fashion, and that's about it. Oh my god! Do you want to speak to uh, the manager? Oh, oh my god! Yeah, I, I would, yeah, yeah. I need to speak yeah, to the manager. Right, I'll get you a manager. Immediately, yes. Hello. Hi. Is is this Hi. the manager? Yes. Hey, oh, I'm sorry to bother you, but I just I needed a call. Like. And that man, he was very angry with me, but, like, I didn't know he was the driver because, like, I don't... Ma'am, he was driving like a pervert. I don't understand what you mean by a pervert. No, like, that was the way he was driving. He was driving like a pervert, ma'am. Well, like, I don't under Like, how do you... How do you how do you drive like a pervert? Like, like all pervy. Mean? And, like, you know, like, instead of driving, like, normal... Like all getting all like turning sideways and getting all pervy and like driving like a pervert. Like I don't like how do you not you know like how they do like because he was out delivering. You're just not making much sense. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just trying to understand you, exactly what you mean. This just doesn't make sense to me. He said it with his I eyes. He was just giving everybody the eyes, like, when he was, like, doing the turns and, like, just driving like a pervert, like, around the corners, you know, and just, like, you know, just like, just communicating it, just, like, exactly, you know, what he wanted to communicate. Okay, well, I will talk to him and see what he says. But he I was quite, when I confronted him, I confronted him, he was quite upset about it, and I called, I said, hey, why, what's, what, what's the deal with this? And he was like... Ah, and I was like, whoa. And then I was like, why are you driving like a pervert? And he just yelled at me. It sounds very defensive. Okay, It yeah, sounds susp- sorry, very will... suspicious. Very suspicious, yeah, I will... ma'am. I think he is being a pervert. Okay, I will definitely talk to him. I do apologize for that. Can I, can I, can I talk to him again just one more time? Um, I'm going to have to say no, because we are just trying tell to... Uh, no, no, just tell him a... it's someone else. Just, just tell him it's someone else. It's fine. No, I'm sorry, sir. We yeah. are trying no, no, to close, fine. and I'm not trying to make this into a bigger issue than it than than it is. But I will no, no, talk just, to him. No, no, ma'am, ma'am, it's fine. Just give give him the phone. It will be fine. Don't worry about it. Just give him no, the phone. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. give him Do the it. phone. Do it. No, just give him the phone. No. Give him the phone. Yeah. No. Do it. Yes. Do it right now. If give him the phone. Problem, you can call our, our our corporate number, but I'm not comfortable with this. So I'm if talking. If I hang up, will he nicely? answer? No. <laughs> I want to talk to him again. One more time. No. Just one I'm more time. Sorry, but we Please. are we are close now. Phone. Yeah, I want to talk to him. I want. Now, sir, I will talk to him. Oh. I'm sorry. No, no, hang. Up. He can hang up the phone. He's a big boy. What? He, he can hang up the phone. He's a big boy. He can do it. I believe he I'm can do it. Let him do and it. I'm in charge of keeping my uh, my crew safe too. You're telling so him. You're I'm telling him he can't talk on the phone. I'm sorry. Goodbye, sir. Nazi. <laughs> Jimmy John's American Fork. Hey, I had a complaint about uh, one of your drivers in my neighborhood. Okay. He is um, just the way that he composes himself when he's driving around here. Like, I know we're not supposed to be outside and stuff, but we have kids, and he's driving around. I don't want to say he's driving around like a pervert, but he is. So I don't Uh, much appreciate it. What car is he in? Oh, I'm not good with those. I think it was like a Ford or a Honda. Well, what color was it? Like I'm colorblind, so it was either red or a green or brown, or maybe like a gray. So the car he was in was either red, green, brown, or gray. I'm colorblind. Okay, here I can put you on hold. I'll get you on the phone with my manager. Are you the driver? <laughs> 
Hello, Hello, this is John. How can I help you? Is that the driver that I was talking to just now, earlier? No. Okay. This is the manager. Well, I was wondering who the first guy was, because I had a complaint about the driver, and then he started getting really weird with me when I started to describe his car accurately. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, his name's Dakota, but what driver did you have? I don't know. I didn't have one. I'm just back here, and I'm on my porch having a cigarette. And this driver, he's coming through, and he's going all around, all around like a pervert, all around. Oh, yeah. Uh, what color car is it? That's the thing, you see. He's trying to get all in my business about this, but I have um, color blindness. Are you familiar? Yeah. So it could be red, it might be green. I didn't get a good look. It could be a brown or a gray. All right. Like sure. a muted, it was like a uh, muddled thing. I couldn't really tell. It's, it's in that yeah, range, and though. Is it like a darker? Uh, it was kind of, it was, yeah, it was like a shade. Yeah, it was a shade of the color, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, because, yeah, I have uh, one guy in a dark blue and one guy in a light gray. Oh, it might be the light gray one then, because it was a shade. And if it was just gray, that's like a shade right there. Yeah, it's just kind of like a shade. Okay. So. Is that the one that's and like a then, Honda or a Ford or something? Yeah, it's a. We got a Volkswagen and a. Oh shit! Toyota. That's probably it. Yup. Okay. Now, why? Uh, do you know why he's doing that? Uh, I have no idea. He might have been looking for a house or something. Well, that's the um, thing. I'd seen him deliver, and then he was just after he was done. He just kept going first, because at first I thought, oh my god, this guy's a pervert, right? Like, for sure, yeah. and I had my phone out. I was ready to make the call and everything. And then I saw he delivered the food, and I saw the Jimmy John's on it, okay? And so I'm thinking, yeah. oh, it's fine. Oh. This guy's this guy's no pervert. He's just Jimmy John's. But then the next thing I know, he gets right back in his car, and he goes right back to it. That's what I'm worried about. I think it's like just yeah. the way he behaves like that. Maybe that's just how he is. Yeah. Uh, it might be. What I can do is I will write up, like, a write-up form. Are you gonna and fire him? Talk will this will this affect his pay? Yeah, so I can't I can't fire him with like the first offense, you know. Uh huh. But I am gonna definitely put it into the books and everything. Oh jeez, can we do just a so verbal? We can we just do a verbal first? Because maybe okay, look, maybe that's just the way that God made him, and he doesn't know that he's a total perv like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe just tell him they just say hey hey gray um gray Volkswagen or or Ford, maybe yeah. don't be such a pervert. Like that. Yeah, just yeah. calm yeah, just down. Tell him. <laughs> Let's, yeah, just tone it down on the perv stuff. Tell him that. All right, yeah, I, w- then, I will do that. Okay, and then, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get binoculars out, and I'll be looking. But if I see him again, okay, then we can rate him up, okay? Yeah, just go ahead and give me a call if it happens. I'll again. get his license plate, and I'll take six or seven pictures of him when he goes by. Yeah, that, that's what I would do, just so yeah, that, yeah, that's you know, we have do. it all set into stone. and right. Okay. So, All right. Thank you. But don't. Yeah. Again, don't fire I, him. Don't fire him yet. But if you yeah, are going to take money, if you're going to take money from him, can I have it? <laughs> if only, huh? But uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I, if it happens again, give me a call. Tell him though. Just let we'll, make sure he we'll knows not to. Do. Just tell him yeah. to knock it off with all the perv stuff. Just quit. Okay. Yeah. Will right. do. <laughs> all right. Thank you. I love you. So, yeah. Have a good one, man. Bye. How can I help you? Hi, I'm a private investigator, and I need one of you guys to uh, operate in, like, a small little sting operation. I need you to, like, you know, just smuggle just a little bit of cocaine in with a sandwich. Uh, you're out of your mind, bro. What do you mean? I'll pay you, like, 100 bucks. That's not going to work. That's not going to happen I'm a here. Pri- no, no I have a, I'm, a, I'm a private investigator. It's fine. It's fake cocaine. No, it's not fine. Yeah, it's fine. Like 100 bucks. Uh, you need to call back when the manager's here. $100 isn't worth anything to us. Sorry. Uh, 150 um, He'll be here. No. He'll be here in the morning. I can't say yes or no, but I'm guaranteeing he'll say no. Thank you. All you got to do is, like, ring the bell and be like, here's your sandwich. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Jones. Hey, Jimmy Jones. My name is Nick Danger. I'm a private investigator. Um, I was hoping that you guys... Is this the manager? I was hoping you guys would be able to help me out on a case that I'm trying to crack. Okay, hold on just one sec. Okay, we can have you call back uh, tomorrow between like 1 and 4. Look, here's the rub, okay? Because I'm willing to give you up to $200. Listen, um, I've got this guy that I've been keeping an eye on for a while, and I know he's getting ready to order from you guys. What I'm trying to do is gather evidence that he is involved in cocaine distribution. 
so that all that I would need was for you to guys to take one small package of, it'll just be flour, like baking flour, and just walk it up to his front door so I can get some pictures. Uh, um, hold 200 on. bucks. Are you the driver? Yeah. Yeah, $200. Okay, hold on just one sec. I'm sorry, but my manager just said to call back uh, between 1 to 4 tomorrow. Okay, but what if you do it without your manager involved? Um, I... It's not even I real just, cocaine. It's not even real cocaine. It's just flour. I just need pictures of him taking the cocaine from Jimmy John's. That's all. Okay, I don't think I can do that. Sorry. Is there a way that I could borrow, um, like, a, do you guys have the uniforms? Could I borrow one of the shirts? I could hire an actor to do it, I guess. Uh, I mean, like I said, you're going to have to call back from 1 to 4 tomorrow. I really I'll can't. give you 75 for your shirt. All right, I'm sorry, but no. Are you, come on, man. Okay, all right. I was trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you make a buck. Yeah, I know what you're saying. All right, listen, I also have real Good cocaine. Though. I also have real cocaine. Okay. Peace out, dude. Okay, fine, whatever, bye. Jimmy John's, Fort Union. Hey, uh, if I, I had a small little uh, sandwich order, you think you could like add like a little, you know, like little baggie like along with it, like when you deliver it? If I came in there and order it, you know? If you came in, like, wait, say, say it one more time. I just come in, came in there, you know, and just ordered, like, a sub for delivery, you know, and just ordered it, like, there in person and just, you know, ordered it for delivery and just gave you a little, like, a little baggie to put into the bag with it. Oh, like, we could put your your order in the bag? Oh, just a little, like, it's like it looks like some salt, like a little baggie of salt. Okay. Yeah. It's like you a little baggie like... of salt with, like, a little smiley face on it. Just put it in the bag, like... Like, would you do that? Yeah, um, probably. Like, are you going to bring it in? Yeah, I'll bring it in there. And then just throw it in the bag and I'll just, you know, just, I'll have, you know, I'll give you the address and you can just, you know, deliver it. I'll okay. give you a good tip. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I don't see why it oh, would be a man. problem. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. I love it. This is Jimmy <laughs> Jazz. Yeah. Jimmy Jazz. Party. Jimmy Jazz. Yeah, Please dude. We got no see. problems here, man. <laughs> Oh man, when you okay, when you get off like, work, man. When you get off work. Uh, I get off around. I close, so it depends. Oh man, you, you, you come that. into the party. You come into the party, man. You, you dude, come, man. Time. You come. To, I'll give you the address. You just come right over to that party. Just bring one, dude, one of those sandwiches. Down, <laughs> yeah, man. I'll come in the party, guys, man. I'll come dance. <laughs> and, oh man, just make but, sure you, uh, you get those. Just wear those tight shorts. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. All right, man. No problem. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, man. All right. Thanks. I'll be there with my little baggie in a little bit. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. So, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Jimmy Johns. Hey, am I able to come in there to place a to-go delivery style order? No. Why not? Come in and pick it up, but you can't come in and do the order inside. Shit. Okay. Um, you do it through the drive-thru as well. Oh, I can place a delivery order through the drive-thru? I just, I need you to can't place... can't do a delivery. I need to. If you do a pickup, you you said pickup. No, That's why I no. wasn't thinking delivery. Okay, here's the rub, okay? Because I need to get a sandwich delivered to my friend. And then I just had a tiny favor to ask. All that I have is a little tiny Ziploc bag with a little white powder in it. And I just wanted you to include that when you deliver a sandwich to him. That's all. Little white powder. It's just a little Ziploc bag, yeah. It's nothing yeah, bad. It's, it makes you feel good. There's nothing bad about it. It's good. Well, I don't know what the substance is, so I can't. Well, I don't. My I don't want to get anyone in trouble. That's why I'm just saying it's just a. It's a harmless white powder that makes you feel good. It makes you want to dance yeah. and stuff. We, we no, we couldn't do that. Well, no. As long as you don't even like, you don't even have to. I can wrap it in a in a like a white paper so you can't even see it for legal purposes. Um, no, I can't. Well, I got to get it to him. I, see, the that. thing is, is that I got to get it to him. And I know, um, I think they're watching his house. So I just, I know that sandwiches are good. I thought maybe you could just slide it in with a sandwich. No, we can't. We can't have anything to do with that. It's, but we didn't even say what it was. So you have plausible deniability in a court. You got nothing to worry about, Jimmy Johns. 
Yeah, no, we can't do that. What? No, okay, is this the type of problem that can be smoothed over with, like, $30 or something? No. Because I know how to do that. I'm good at that. Like, 40 no. or 50 what is this going to cost me? No, we can't do that. Okay. Like, for the record, it's a no-go. Now, for off the record, let's talk. Yeah, no, we can't. Flat I can do it, no. like, I can do 150 No. Nope. So I got to get this to him. I don't think you understand. We can't do that. You can't or you won't? We can't. What would prevent you? Because the cops well, don't we even can stop. And we won't. The cops don't even stop any of the delivery. I think they're doing a sting on him, okay? Let's be real here. They're doing a sting on him, and we got to get around the sting by Jimmy John's. Yeah, well, Jimmy John's isn't going to have anything to do with it. Sir? 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 Are you there? It's cocaine. It's a little baggie of cocaine. Okay. Yeah, yeah I said it. I said it. Happen. I said it. Okay. Now we're it's all out in the open. Let's start. Let's start being real with each other and working it's to build not a better. Gonna happen. It's I'll give, not gonna look, happen. It's not gonna happen. I'll give you some. It's not gonna happen. Like a gram of coke and a hundred bucks both. <laughs> Sell drugs. We jump on I'm sorry, you were talking very fast. What? JB Jones on 4 South. Hi. So how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I was wondering if you could help me out with something. Okay. Can I buy some subs and also have, like, a little note in the, like, bag? Like, for DoorDash when they order? Yeah? And, like, a little decorative, like, little baggie, too, like, to go with it. Like, a cute little bag with, like, a bow and stuff. I can put it in a regular bag and put a note in the bag, but that's about it. Okay. It's going to be, it's like fairy dust. That's what it is. It's very, like, ooh, you know, nice. But um, you could do that. How many of these can I do a day? What do you mean? Like how many sandwiches like, can you buy a day? Yeah, you know, like little transactions, like with the little baggies and stuff. Like how many can we I do a day have, if my people are ordering through DoorDash? Like, what? I'm confused on what you're asking. We don't do DoorDash here. We only have our bikers that do deliveries. That's it. Oh. Well, how many yeah. orders can they make a day? As many as you want, I guess. But we don't. We just have regular bags. I'm not. It's not like we can like dress up the bag at all. Like how many little baggies can you deliver a day? They're going to be inside the sub bags. Like, I'm confused on what you're asking. Like sandwiches? Yeah. Like how many could you do a day? I'm going to be putting baggies in all of them. Uh, like you just want the regular sandwiches, right? Yeah, but I have like little baggies of fairy dust that I'm putting in them. Okay. Um, so we can do as many sandwiches as you want. Okay, all right, we got something going. All right, let's celebrate. Um, do you want a little baggie yourself? Um, I'm good, thanks. Well, it, it's it called fairy dust because, you know, it gives you lots of energy and just bam, bam. Are you talking about the but, drug yeah. fairy dust? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Do you want to buy sandwiches or not? Yeah. Okay, what can I get for you? Um, I want four bags of fairy dust with my subs. I want you to have a great night because I don't know how to end this. Bye. <laughs> oh, I want to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the cringe. Oh. All right, this is Jimmy Johns. How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if I could get a whole bunch of, like, you know, like, a, a sub deliveries ordered in, but then, like, I want to get, like, a bunch of little baggies put into the bag with them, like, when they get delivered. You want baggies in the bag? Yeah, I got, like, a big box. I, I got, like, a, uh, I got a box of, like, a hundred little baggies. I need to, like, deliver it to, like, various locations, and I can, like, order a sub with those baggies to the various locations. So so you want to order a sandwich and then a bunch of bags? I have all these like little many, baggies. Like the Ziploc bags or the paper yeah, bags? They're, they're, it's all little Ziploc baggies. They're like all little like 
little just little Ziploc baggies, or some, like some powders and things that like have to be delivered to various addresses, and I'll, I'll order a sub sandwich for each address, and then uh, tip tip for each address, and then the, the baggies must be delivered with the sub. All right, I think I'm going to put the manager on for something that specific. Wait. Oh, I mean, that's just a very easy delivery, I would think. I mean... So you want a delivery, but you want to deliver them to a whole bunch of different locations? Yes. All right. Hello? Hello? Yeah, sorry, he just passed the phone to me. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I just need... I have, like, a box of, like, a hundred little baggies... That I want to get delivered with a hundred different sub sandwiches to all different various addresses. You just put the little baggie into the sub sandwich bag and get that delivered. It's the little little Ziploc baggie. It just goes into the into the sandwich bag with the sub, and off it goes. Sorry, I'm not following with what you're saying. I, it, 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 what do you mean? What what part? What's what's the what what what's the problem? Okay. So what you wanna what do you want what do you want us to do? What, what okay, I got, I got I got this box. I got a hundred baggies. I have a hundred baggies, little baggies. Okay. Okay, you have a hundred baggies. Yes, I have a hundred little. These are little little tiny little Ziploc baggies. Okay. And I need to get those delivered to various addresses. I have about a you know, hundred different addresses to li- to deliver. 100 various baggies to uh, do these addresses. Okay, so you you have baggies. Do you have a bags that need to be delivered to us? No, to the no. I want to order to the sandwiches. I want to order 100 sandwiches to various addresses, and each each sandwich will have a baggie included with it. Okay. Um, in a comp- so in a accompaniment so wanna... to each sandwich, there will be one baggie. Uh, okay. Okay. So you one want... baggie, one baggie per sandwich delivered to each of the 100 addresses. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So you have um, you have 100 baggies for 100 sandwiches one, that you want to order. One, and 100 to... baggies. 100 of them. 100 of them. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you okay? So you have a hundred baggies, and you want to order a yes. hundred sandwiches. Yes. And each sandwich is a different address. Yes. I have a list of various uh, uh, addresses for the various baggies and sandwiches to be delivered to. Okay. How do you want us to get the baggies to each uh, address as well? Into into the bag with the sub sandwich. I will bring right, so I will bring you I will bring you a box of 100 baggies of Ziploc bags, and then they put you put them into the bags with the 100 sandwiches to the various addresses and get those delivered. I don't think we can do that. I don't think we're allowed to put outside things what? into bags and deliver what do you to mean? random people. Uh. Can you all right? Give it to them on the outside of the of the of the bag. Give it to them on the on the underside of the bag. Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to deliver outside things to random people. Is what I'm saying. We can't have no. It's outside of the bag. You can, I'll give you some give tape. You put it to the outside of the bag. One hundred baggies right. to one hundred different addresses. Sir, sir, we Ma- can't. Ma- my? We, I don't know if we can deliver. Outside things from another person. If you bring us something, no, you're you not can. allowed to deliver them to random other people, other random people. No, you, you, you can, you can do this. Oh, I can. Why, why couldn't you? I don't. What do you mean? I don't. I don't know if that's allowed. I don't know if we're allowed to deliver outside things. Like it's just a hundred of them. It's just one hundred. Okay, so Hello? I'll give you a good tip. What kind of what kind of tip we talking here? No, that's that's not the issue, boss. I'm just saying. What do you mean? We can't have a customer bring us something and tell us to give them to other other people. 
What are you talking? You they bring you the bread and you sell it and you give it to them and you bring them. They give you the meat. And I'm going to give you the baggies and you give it to them. Right. So you give us the baggies, but we're not. We can't give those baggies to other people. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what. You can buy them for a dollar and then you sell it to them for a dollar. That way you're not giving it. You know. Then it's then it's good. I don't think that will work either. I don't. I don't know. What? You said you couldn't give them, and I said a dollar. What? What are you? What are you doing? Uh, what are just, you doing? Just looking at something. Sorry, one second. No. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Sorry, I'm. I'm just looking at something. Sorry, one second. What? No. Stop. What? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's all right now. Don't you do it. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so... So you want to order a hundred sandwiches, you said? Do you know what I can get started for you? Where do I bring the baggies? We're not going to be able to give the baggies out, but we can take the sandwiches if you want. You, How would you I want the ahead. sandwiches for if you don't do the baggies? Well, I mean, it, well, if you have the addresses, then you can just take the baggies to the addresses. These sandwiches would be sandwiches no good without the seasoning. This is terrible. Sorry, say it again? The sandwiches would be no good without the seasoning. This is terrible. I cannot do this. You can't do what? The, this. You can't, you can't have the sandwich without the seasoning, so you can't do it. Without the seasoning? You can't. Oh my God! Uh, why? Why? Why is this so hard? You have to like ask twice. Everything. Why? Uh, let me get, let me get your phone number real quick. No. Sorry, did you say no? I said no. Okay. Cool. I said um, no. R- okay, I heard you. I uh, was just saying, uh, yeah, said, do you want you to, okay, do, do you want to place an order or not? Quit looking at me like that. Yeah? Stop it. Sir, are you wanting to place an order? Well, yeah. Alright, what, what can I get started for you? Alright, where do I bring these baggies? Like the back door. I mean, we could do like a thousand sandwiches. I mean, if we play your cards right. Yeah. I guess if you play your cards right, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, if you're done, I'm I'm trying to run a store here and uh, actually do physical business. So, like, I don't know why you haven't hung up yet. Like, what are you doing? (laughs) Get out of here. Just get out of here. Just get out. Come on. Just get out of here. Get out of here, man. Just go. <laughs> Just hang up on me. It's fine. Just go. Get out of here. Well, if you're trying to place 100 sandwiches, I'm I'm, I'm willing to take your order. We just can't take the baggies. Oh, see, so you can't take the baggies, so no sandwiches. No sandwiches, no baggies. No baggies, no sandwiches. No, no baggies, no sandwiches? Yep, that's how it goes. All right, well... Uh, I hope you can deliver this baggies and those sandwiches then, because it sounds like those hundred people really need it. Yeah, they'll be fine. Really need, really need those baggies. You, yeah, you're, yeah, you're really busy <laughs> right now, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, man. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what? Jimmy Johns. Hey, how you doing? All right. Um, I was hoping to um, work with you guys to get a large number of deliveries going out from down there. You realize I do have caller ID. What does that mean? I'm just trying to place an order. I'd like to get like a, maybe around 100 sandwiches going to different addresses. What is? I would hope you have my caller ID. I'm, you're going to need the number to place the order, aren't you? Number and 
Okay, what's the address? Well, it's going to be different addresses. You see, I have a large satchel of, full of little bags of different various dried herbs that I'd yeah, like to get you delivered. Called earlier to get, you called earlier. I got your phone number. I'm going to call the cops now. Um, I know. I definitely haven't called you before. I guarantee you did. I don't think so. Let me check my logs. Oh, like, yeah. Why? Why you're listed under two different areas, so that's kind of on you. Well, I'm hanging up now, and I'm calling the cops. Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I can do a three-way call. What are we going to tell him? <laughs> Circle K, hey, bro, this is Ryan. How can I help you? Ryan, I was going to come down there to get some gasoline. Um, okay. The problem, problem is I looked up onto the Yelp reviews. Okay. Would you guys want to respond to this? There's some pretty nasty things about you on there. About me? No, well, not you personally. It just says that this man... Oh, said that Jesus Christ, made changed. my heart drop, dude. No, it doesn't say any names or anything. He said he had got changed no. and that you guys had tried to shortchange him or something. Oh, that we tried to shortchange them? Yeah, he said that he'd given you a 20 and that you gave change for 10, is what it says. And he has one When was star. this, recently? It says two years ago. Oh, I, I've only been here for a month. I don't really know how to respond okay. to that, man. Okay. You know, it's a it's a Yelp review. Uh, if you want to come and get gas. I do. Uh, you know, like I can't, uh, I'm trying to be uh, professional during this phone call here. Um, if if someone got shortchanged, you know, uh, it, it happens. People make mistakes. I've been here for a little over a month now, and a lot of the times, a customer will correct me. I'm not perfect, but um, I can guarantee you and ensure you that if you come here, I'm not going to try and rob you. But okay, we do have that's... the cheapest gas prices around at 150. I don't really know what else to really say about that. Yelp can well, be a pretty nasty but... website. I'm just worried because it was two years ago, and if you're saying you don't even know about the incident, I mean, you know, do you know what I mean? About someone, uh, someone getting shortchanged, like the guy accidentally. Two years ago, yeah. So two years ago, some guy came in and paid with a 20, and the guy accidentally gave him short change by accident? That's what, yeah. Uh, it it okay. happens. It, it, you know what I mean? Has that ever happened to you at a Red Sox game or something? I don't think it would be on purpose. I hope it wasn't. I okay. would hope it wasn't on purpose, but I don't short change people here. So Okay, okay. Um, um, I've only been here for a little over a month, but I'll put the I'll put my word on it and say that, you know, if someone had the time to write a Yelp review about uh, short change, then they must have had a little bit deeper uh, issue with the person because I think we all know in this world mistakes happen, and it's a gas station. You can't really just short change people and get away with it like it's a a crime syndicate. So Okay, I'll no, we're good. We're good. Listen, Irving. listen. All right, we're good. We're going to move on to the next one. It says the bathroom smells like shit, and it's a one star again. Okay, and when was this? This one's also two years ago. It looks like all the reviews are from two years ago. I don't know if, what, did you guys open up then or something? Uh, we have, there's multiple, well, every now and then, obviously, there's a big shift in management. Um, I've I've never had a complaint about my bathroom. I actually get compliments on it almost okay. on the daily. We keep this okay. place tip-top, and um, if you want to come down and use the facilities, we do have toilet paper and free of charge. Oh. Men and women's bathrooms. Okay. And I assume I'm allowed to use either. And then, um, do I have to use the toilet paper? Or can I go freestyle? Is this some type of prank call? But I'm liking it. I'm, I'm not busy right now. So you can go freestyle. That's all up to you. You just can't, um, you just can't be wiping your hands all over the place. The, uh, no, on my socks. On my own socks. And then don't worry, I'll flush them. Only thing that well, I yeah, have an issue... You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. That's, that, you know, mean that's discrimination. I can't hate right. it. Right. Oh, yeah, because of my service. Yeah, the service want, animal. Man. But then sometimes when I'm pooping, I make a lot of noises like a pervert would in the bathroom. Do you know what I mean? In the bathroom, like grunting and moaning. And there's a lot of shit. Yeah, you know, every, hey, everyone, everyone's got their own style. Some people like it. Some people do it on purpose. Some people can't help it. I like it. Whatever personally. suits your fancies, man. Whatever suits your fancy, but okay. You know. So I can I can poop like a pervert then, and there's no problems. Uh, no, you can't. Well, pooping like a pervert, I'm just, I don't. That's kind of a a pretty weird demographic right there. I don't know what pooping like a pervert really means. They're grunting so, and moaning, and different different sex noises. Some people can't help it. Unfortunately, there's people and the, there's people that have some medical conditions that they can't help making those noises. 
But if it does get to be a scene or, you know, cause a disturbance, we're going to have to, you know, take executive a action and ask you to leave or, you know, that's probably when the police will get called. Or anything okay. that has to do with anything perverted and or right. anything like that, right. probably. What about probably screaming? Will, what, about, what about screaming? Can I scream while I poop? Can't do that. No, nope, that's a disturbance to public. This is a this is a um, this is a a public establishment and a, a family establishment. So there's no screaming allowed. No, you. So I won't. I won't have any leave. family members. There will be no family members. It'll just mean be, be me. Yeah. In no, the this is a family establishment. Is and there will be kids here. Lights off. All the time. Screaming. You, 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 you never know. Yeah, you can't be doing that, man. So probably, actually, if you're doing that, I'd, I'd probably just call the cops, to be honest with you. Well, Sarge comes through uh, just about a couple times a day in North oh, Andrews Police are here. So Can they'll be happy, them? more than happy to escort you out. And also, we do have audio on our cameras, too. So right when you walk out of that bathroom, we will see your face of you screaming like a pervert in the bathroom. And you will probably be facing maybe sex offender charges or something along those lines if I had to guess? I don't think so. You can scream and, and shout and, and moan while you're pooping. I'm pretty sure. That's not sex uh, Not in a public restroom like that, and especially if you call and make sure that it's okay first. Then it becomes deliberate, and you'd probably be facing um, some type of criminal charges, but you're maybe welcome like to aggravated. come find out. But it might be aggravated then, huh? Like a, aggravated, like a charge for aggravated poop sounds, or I don't know what. I uh, I don't know, man. If you want to come find out and catch a charge, you can come down and do that. Do you have any do. more questions for me, buddy? I do. I do. I'll be down. Okay. I'll be down, okay? And I'll, I'll be the man wearing the shirt with the racist pornographic images on it. Okay. So just look for that. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a few. Uh, anything else, sir? Um, what kind of shoes do you have on? Like, what size are they? I might have some. That's a personal question. Then. Well, I'm Doesn't saying really, I got a lot um, of. I have a whole bunch of. Sh I got a. I had a, a bad deal on eBay and I ended up with a whole bunch of shoes here. And I was going to see if I had one in your size. That's all. It's nothing personal. Calm down. All right, but so have you gotten your fun out of this or what? Did I give you all the information you needed? Um, other than I'm a little concerned about getting charged right, as a sex offender you, for pooping. Play, other I, than I, that, I played this song real good, but um. Well, yeah, if you, you want to come down soon, uh, he you will, did, be, will be showing right here. So You did. Oh, can I call back? I if I call back, and, uh, if I call back, can I talk to him? Can I talk to him? No, I thought you were coming down here. You can talk to him and, and you can ask him these questions. They know okay, I'll call, I'm gonna, I need to talk to him. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Right, I love you. Bye. Hey, is it okay if I get the gas without any shoes on? I'm um, pretty sure that's fine. I mean, because, like, you can't. I can't come in then, right? Oh wait, what do you mean? Like you're parked outside in the car? Like, uh, how do I? Like, I want to get gas, but I don't have any shoes. You need a bag? No, I need gas. So, are you actually parked outside, or? No, I need to get gas, but I don't have any shoes. Um, uh, to be honest, some, boss, that sounds like a real I personal got, issue. So I, I got some help. cash. I got some cash. I want to get some gas. Hello? Oh. I'm just trying to get some gas. Yeah, I guess not for you. Damn. <laughs> Good evening, Circle K. Pam speaking. Can I help you? Pam, who um who did I talk to about like pooping in the bathrooms and stuff? Uh that would be the manager and she is not here right now. Oh boy. Are um, the bathrooms open right now for customers? Oh yeah. Okay. I just I I have to do um what's known as a number two. It's a bowel movement. But I have a medical condition where there's gonna be a lot of shouting and grunting and screaming going on while I'm in there. And I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys so you don't think that there's anything sexual going on at all. Okay. I've gotten in trouble. Yep. No, I was they're at the open. When the last time, this was like two months ago, I had gone to the Burger King, and they had thrown me out for pooping like a pervert, they said. Okay. So. All right. Um, I have a customer. Well, I just um, want to make so, sure it's are... okay. It's okay yep. if I'm screaming oh, and yeah, shouting. Oh, yeah, they're open. While I, and I can scream and shout in there while I go. 
they're open. <laughs> I, can I scream though? Can I shout real loud like ah? ah well, ah, that's, not, that's ah, up to you. Okay, I mean, well, everybody's going to hear you, so <laughs> that's okay. I'm not shy. I'm not shy. Okay. I just didn't want to get thrown out mid poop. No, 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 no. All right, you're good. You. I'll be in a little bit. Okay. You'll hear me. You'll hear me. I love you. Uh, okay. Circle K, how are you doing tonight? How are you doing? Pretty good. Listen, listen, I'm going to be coming in there. I have to, I, I'm i sorry to be like a little bit, listen, okay. I got to come in and I got to use the restroom, buddy. But restroom, um, when, I, when I go, I mean, when I do like the number two, sir, I'm a little bit loud. And I just need to make sure like maybe you want to like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little wave here. as I'm running in. But uh, maybe you keep people away from the uh, the area or something. I don't know, man. Okay, Wakefield. Hey, um, I saw this guy that was drinking like an orange juice, and it wasn't like an orange. Like, it wasn't something from like in the store. Like he was drinking it out front. Like, were, were you aware of this? Like, what do you mean? Like this, there's this like there's this man that was drinking. He was drinking something, but uh, it didn't look like it came from inside the store, like out in the parking lot. Yeah, that. I mean, I can't really say anything to that. Well, you're not rated. Like you're not rated for that, though. I mean, you don't have. Like you didn't have that in the like. You know, I from like the cross food contaminations and every. You know, you don't have it like rated. Like I you don't allow carry. Drinking, I, I can't tell him he can't drink anything. Like, but I mean, it's no carry-ins so though. Like the parking lot has, like the par- parking lots have a strict no no carry-in pause, don't they? No. <laughs> oh. Not that oh. I'm aware of it. I mean, we don't have the right to tell someone not to do what they're doing outside the store. That's none of our business, unless they're doing it or committing a crime. I don't know. It looked like he was committing a crime. He was doing it kind of pervertedly. Okay. You went from... What do you mean he was doing it pervertedly? You said you saw well, that's someone what drinking... Made me, that's what made me notice it. But I mean, I thought I would get him on just, like, drinking something he shouldn't be drinking. But, I mean, and he was doing it just in, like, just such a way that, like, it just drew attention. It was just perverse. Um, I mean that we can't do anything if you have you would have to report that to the non emergency line for Wakefield P D. We have no control over that. The what? If you have a concern or an issue, you would have to call Wakefield P D and report it. How are you? Why, why would I call them? Circle K in Westfield. Hi, I'd like to report a uh, pervert that I saw down there. Um, We have nothing to do with that. You would have to call the uh, police. No, 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 no. I had seen him right, right there on the Russell Road. I saw him there at the store. That's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, Um, there's no one in the store right now, so... This was earlier, sir. I wouldn't... I wouldn't drop a dime on a pervert right away, because then they'd know it was me. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Well, you could prevent I mean, him. Unless you see the person doing something, you have to call the cops. We have nothing I did. to do with it. I did. And I didn't see what website he was on, but the way, sir. <laughs> pervert. I need to report a pervert. Thank you for calling Burke. This is Haley. How may I help you? Hi, Haley. I need to report a pervert that I saw down there. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Um, give me a second. Yeah, no problem. Do you have, like, a form or something that you fill out for this? I don't mind going through line by line for, like, a pervert form or something. Okay, what's the number or what do you want to, whatever you want to give me? No, I don't know his phone number. He was on his phone. That's how I knew he was a pervert. Like, I couldn't see over his shoulder. I couldn't see what website he was on. But I could tell just by looking at his eyes that he was looking at something pretty nasty, probably. Oh, okay. Where? 
Did on his know? phone. Like on his phone. He was in his car. And that's the other thing. For all I know, he didn't have any pants on. He was sitting in his car. I couldn't see his like waist down. I don't know, man. All right. Well, I am not the manager, but I will let my manager know. Do you okay? Look, next time I come down there, do you guys have like a garden hose or something that you could have hooked up? I feel like every time I come down there, this is the third time I've had to call you guys. Every time I come down there, I'm always seeing a pervert. Oh, well, I've had enough of it, no, ma'am. Never... Ma'am, I've had enough of it. I have children. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Like, get the, you can tell come me. And talk to my manager. No, tell me that you'll get the hose out and he'll hook it up and he'll have it waiting. No. I'm gonna hose him down. Okay, this is Jay. Hey, um, I, I saw, I, you know, I seen you giving me the eyes down there, you know, um, uh, what's going on, you know, like, like with the stink fist and everything? I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. Well, weren't you the one giving me the stink fist? Uh, I don't, I can't barely hear what you're saying, you're breaking up so bad. W- weren't you the one giving me the stink fist? The what? Yeah, yeah, I think it was you. It sounds like you. You were giving me the stink fist. I don't know what you're talking about, boss. You you're giving me later. the signal. You're giving me the stink fist. Give me the stink fist. What? What's the big idea, huh? About... Every time I come down there, you guys are giving me all sorts of different shit. Like last time, it was the snake eyes, and then this time, it was the stink fist. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Could you repeat? Every time I come down there, you guys are giving me shit, and I've, I've had it up to here with it, and I need it to stop. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, you're sorry for what? I can't place a voice. I'm... Who? My name's Brad. Brad Shirtley. Okay. okay. And so every time I come down there, do? you gave me a big old handful of a stink fist. You said, here it is, like that. Not very polite. Uh, we try to be as polite as we possibly can be. Well, and then, okay, how do you, you tell me, how do you do a stink fist while being polite? Stink fist? Yes, uh, sir. I have no idea what that left is. Left hand. He used the left hand. Uh, I'm, I'm truly sorry that somebody did that, but I do not know. You don't sound very sorry. Are you the guy who was uh, doing I, it? I, I, Are you I'm the trying one? Trying to place uh, where we could have, I, any one of us could have possibly have done that. I sincerely apologize, but I really don't know when that could have happened. Okay. I help. I had got this camel. I got the camel cigarettes. Hmm? Oh. Do you remember now? It camel what? They're just the filters. And then hmm. when I when I got home. There were no cigarettes in the bag. It was just a bag of sand. And I don't know if that's some, your idea of a joke or something. No. we. It was possibly just a mistake. I know, like, camels out in the desert, there's sand going around. I don't know if that's what you were thinking, but I don't find it funny. The weight was right, so I didn't even notice. I made it all the way home. Um, the old sand cigarettes, huh? I'm sorry, sir. It's... It was probably just a mistake on one of our parts. I don't want it to happen again. Listen, will you talk to my brother? You need to talk to my brother, Alex. Certainly. Here. Here's Alex. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, what's going... What's, Hello? What's the, what's the meaning of this? Hello, what's what's the meaning of this? What? I, I'm rather confused. Uh, did... We misplaced your cigarettes he's saying, when we order. He's switching out. You're switching out his cigarettes like Indiana Jones or something, and the and you have like the sandbags and everything, and then you're just like you just you're just fucking with them. I mean, like, what? Why are you doing that to him? I know he's not that bright, but I mean, like, why do you gotta be mean like that? 
We're not, sir. That's, that's just it, cruel it and unusual. Mix up. I think, no, I think that's some kind of like, like more than a medical agent action. I think that's like downright vicious. Um. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I really don't know. Like, this sounds like an aggressive act. Well, I'm sorry that it seems like that, but uh, nothing of the sort. Well, we have the evidence that proves that, like, it pro- like, we have all this evidence of it all being aggressive, and it's just like, what? whoa, what are you doing? Like, with all this I'm sand? What are you thinking with all this sand? Like, Well, if you yeah. have a complaint with us, you can call our customer service hotline, because that, I'm sorry, but I, didn't, I can't place a face. I can't smoke sand! Yeah, uh, nobody can. But it it was possibly just a misplacement, sir. I'm sorry. What do you mean you misplaced? You, have misplaced. A problem with it, you, you misplaced your bags of sand. Hmm? What kind of Indianapolis Jones are you? We're misplacing your bags of sand in the wrong cave. All right, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to come in tomorrow and talk to my manager because I have no I'm idea. I'm gonna ask you to just shut the f- <laughs> tell those people to shut the fuck up back there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here's Bread. Bread's gotta say goodbye, sir. He's okay. drunk. Don't listen to him. He's drunk. Is this a prank call? What would the funny part be? I'm asking a serious question. Is this a prank call because this is taking up customers' times? Well, then that's not funny at all. That'd be a waste of your resources, wouldn't it? Yes. Then I wouldn't do it to you. I'm a good person. You're a good guy. We're both good people here. I wouldn't do that to you. You wouldn't do it to me, would you? You're not playing a prank on me, are you? Give me the old sand cigarette stink fist. Well, if you do have a complaint that you can make, you can come in tomorrow and talk to one of our managers. Write this down. I got a bag of sand. Write that down. You got a bag of sand? You gave me a bag of sand instead of cigarettes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Uh, What store did you purchase this from? What do you mean, what store? What kind of a question is that? Well... You on Broadway? We don't have bags of sand available. You on Broadway? about to be. Broadway and what? Delaware. At what time? What do you mean, what time? I don't wear a watch. Well, what the fuck do I look like? we can't... Nobody would have put a bag of sand in... What do you think? I got a monocle and a pocket watch? Or a, like a cane and a top hat? What do you think, man? I'm not Mr. Peanut. I don't think anything at this point. You right. can talk to my manager tomorrow, sir. I'm very sorry for what had happened to I'm going to bring hey, the sand. Hey, 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 hey. What? Sorry, sir. What can I do for you? Okay, this, the sand actually rolled up pretty good. It's actually working better, a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, Brad, Brad I think you should take a hit of this. It's oh, pretty good. Oh, we're smoking the sand? Um, oh, we're I smoking try, the sand. We're going to smoke the sand. Up. It's actually working tomorrow, pretty good. If you have a receipt with you, you can talk to my manager. Well, we're just going to smoke it. <laughs> Sorry, I have some bad news for you. This was a prank the whole time. It was a trick right from the sure. beginning. None of it was real. This isn't even my real phone number. Oh, that's wonderful. I know. I'm so- I'm sorry. How can I make it up to you? There's nothing you can really do. You have a nice day. What if I come down and wash your car or something? I don't have a car. Well, do you want mine? Wash your bike or something. Or... You can have my car. I don't drive it that much. You can have mine. Do you want my car? I feel bad now. You're such a nice guy. I'll give you my car. All right. <laughs> That's a little too much. No, I got pink slips. I'll bring it down. 
I'll take an Uber home. I'll be there in a few, okay? I love you. Untie your, get your shoes untied and get ready to go, though, okay? Okay. Okay. Marie University. This is Sean. How can I help you? Sean, buddy. Hey, um, I got to let you guys know down there um, that now is not the time, Sean. Huh? Sean, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. Not the time for what? Exactly. Exactly. That way, when you picked up the phone and everything, you're all stammering and stuttering and stuff. You know, we, we got eyes. All right? I got eyes? No, I said we I got, got eyes. All right? Don't get smart. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, right you're, you're cutting loose. You're cutting loose. All right? Now is not the time. All right? All right, have we need night. to just do what we're we need to do what we're supposed to do. I have no idea what you're talking about, buddy. Are we hey, John, are we doing what we're supposed to do or are we not? Do we want to demerit? Sean. We're not talking to us. Sean. Hey, hey, don't Hello? you do this. Hello? Hello? What's wrong with Sean? Can I help you? What's wrong with huh? Sean? What's, I don't uh, know what's you wrong can with hear Sean. Me. Well, what, why is he behaving like this? I'm calling to tell him things, and he's just giving me the runaround, and I don't know who you are, and now I'm talking to you. Who are you? Uh, my name is Ed. I'm one of the clerks. Okay, well, what Sean's got to get his stuff together. He's cutting loose over there. Okay. All right, and now is not the time. Was call- what was what did you call about? Well, I'm calling to tell you that now is not the time. I don't know who's who's in charge over there, but this is, things are not the way they're supposed to be. It's not right at all. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, no, not exactly. I was trying to tell Sean, and he just completely fucked us up. Okay. Um, do you want me to give you? You want me to get Sean back on the phone? Oh, uh, oh! Now is not the time. It's all over. Go on. Go put your shoes on. I'm gonna go. I want to tell him. I want. Hello. Superstition. Help me help you. Can you help me out? I had got from you one of the. Um, it's the Swisher Sweets, the Cigarellos. Uh-huh. Now, my buddy, uh, he used to always come over here, and he would uh, break them up and roll them up with the, the marijuana in it. But now, he's not coming over here because of quarantine times, and I I thought it would be... This is way harder than I thought it would be. I already ruined the first. I there were, honestly there were have two no in idea, there. sir. I don't smoke weed. Is there anyone there who knows how to roll a blunt that I could talk to? Because I can't... I um, The first one crumbled up. Not that I know of, no. The first one kind of crumbled. Yeah, Who's not he? that I know of. You could probably look it up on Google or YouTube. YouTube Wait. might have it. But yeah, no. Unfortunately, I don't ha- know how to smoke a blunt, and I have customers in front of me. Oh, but you could definitely do any that. of them? Do any of them look like they know how to roll a blunt? Can I talk to one of the customers real no. quick? I don't have the internet. No, ma'am. none of them don't smoke. Can I come down there and I use know your internet? Regulars. Yeah, so I would just Google it. Just YouTube I don't have it. that. Can you just ask them real quick? Does anyone here know how to roll a blunt, please? Nobody knows how to roll a blunt here, sir. I got two people, and I know that they're regulars, and they do not smoke. You wouldn't always know. You can't always tell. You can't always... Welcome to Sheraton Metairie New Orleans Hotel, where you belong. If you... Oh! Oh! Whoa! Herbert... Your call is being transferred. Give it a half hour. Oh. Thank you for calling the Sheraton Metairie New Orleans Hotel. This is Veronica. How may I help you? Hey, uh, I have like the uh, like the like the Swisher Sweets, and I, I have uh, some of the like uh, the marijuana is like all broken down. And I just for, for the life of me, like they showed it like on the YouTube's and that like how to uh, roll a blunt, and I can't. Like we've been trying. There's a few of us. We, we can't roll. Is there- 
welcome from the Wyndham Providence Whoa. Airport. So that we may better serve you for the shuttle service or make a reservation, press zero or simply stay on the line and one of our front desk agents will be right with you. That's the one. Yes, sir, says I can help you. Hey, uh, I was wondering if anyone down there knew how to uh, uh, roll up a blunt. Sorry? Did, uh, does anyone down there uh, know how to just, like you know roll up a blunt, like from a swisher? Um, you have to call 637 for that, sir. What? 637. No, I don't. What's the... Huh? What's okay. The, what's what's okay. that? What, one second. Are you... What are you calling from? No, like, what do you mean 637? What are you talking about? Just... Is someone down there can just, like, like meet us or show us? Like, are you just tell me over the phone, maybe? Like, how do I... I don't understand you, sir. Like, what do you need? I, I How do I roll up a blunt? Like, I have all the stuff, but, like, none of us know how to do it. Like, Tippy's gone. Thanks for calling the Double Train Flagstaff. This is Autumn. How may I help you? Hey, Autumn. Does anyone down there at the front desk know how to roll up a blunt? Well, um, we're having a hell of a time up here in the room. I do not. We got the Swisher Sweets, and I also have the White Owls both. And I can't get either. I tried one at each. They're like a two-pack. And the Swisher, yeah. it, it like the layers kind of just fell apart. Like, and I could okay. not get it to go back together. And then the White Owl like cracked right in the middle. So I don't want to screw up okay. the other ones. Um, do you guys have like a concierge down there who can twist this up for us or show us how to do it? I bet you my house person can do it. What floor are you on? We're on the first. You're on the first. All right. Well, the one up. I'm yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. You're. On, are you by like behind the front desk essentially? More or less, kind of up there. Okay. Um, then I'll have my um, house person walk back there casually, and you can always grab him and um, ask him if he could help. Let me go ahead and send him back to you. Okay? okay, yeah, we'll see if he wants to hit it, too. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you for calling Doubletree Phoenix Gilbert. This is Amanda. How may I assist you? Hey, Amanda. Um, does anyone down there know how to uh, roll up a blunt? No. No, like we have all the stuff, but like, we just can't. Like we're not. Like our, our buddy, like he's not here anymore. Like he used to roll them up, but now we can't. Like does any, like anybody down there know how to, like just twist one up? Like I can't see. Like, is someone someone down there? Are you staying here? Yeah, like we're just trying to find someone that could like help us roll up a blunt. What room are you in? Well, I mean. Do you have? Is there someone that can help us roll up a bun? No, there's not. There's no smoking here. So why do you need to know what room I'm in if like you don't know anyone that knows how to roll up a bun? No, I'm sorry. If please don't smoke here. I didn't say we were going to smoke in the like. I just we can't even roll it up. Like we're just trying to roll up a bun. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, you don't have to smoke it like, here. Like you can just roll like. Jeez, we're just trying to roll for blunt. Okay, bye. Thank you for calling the Double Tree Suites by Hilton Phoenix. We look forward to. Please hold. Thank you for calling Double Tree Suites Phoenix. How may I direct your call? Well, um, is this the front desk? We're up in the room, um, and I was just hoping that someone here in the building, like on site, knew how to roll a joint. I've tried like four or five times, and it just keeps ripping. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if anybody can. Okay, like, do you have like a room service like lady or something, or like a janitor? No. Or I I don't know. Do you know how to do it? Or I could go get, if you only know how to roll blunts, I can go get a cigarello if that's better. We could probably no, just smoke half of it. I don't know how to do it. that either. Okay. Do you, okay. Then do you yeah, have I'm a bowl? Sorry about that. Do you have a bowl or a bong that we could use? And we'll clean it out real good when we're done. Oh. I do not. No? No. <sighs> okay. I guess. I don't know. We'll just keep trying. I don't know. Maybe we'll find something in this room we can turn into a little pipe or something. You don't mind. Like, if we smoke out a, I don't know, sometimes you can take the leg off of a bed and there'll be a hole in it and you can pack it up, I've heard. Um, yeah, 
I'm sure that they'll charge you for that. So that's oh, up to you. Okay. All right. We'll look around. We'll find something to smoke out of in here. Thank you for your help. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Bye bye. By Hilton. This is Michael. Where may I direct your call? Is there a way to like kick up the vent fan like another notch, or like in make the area? air conditioner in like in like the bath? Like you know the bath. Is there a way to like make it like like make the vent fan like go like make it go more? Like sure kick it up a notch, area. or no, or make or maybe make like the you know like the the the, the AC and the the heater thing like make it. It's it's just getting really smoky. Gotcha. Which wanna, area? Huh? No. What you, Which area is there? Just, huh? No, like the bathroom and the main room and like it's all. What are you What are you talking about? Is this for a room at all, sir, or is this a part of the property? Well, the the room. Which room's there? Like the bathroom fan. Like make it go. Are you asking if there's AC running, or are you looking for a switch? Make, no, I want it's going. I want. To, okay, can you make it go more? I can see if I can send an engineer down there for you. Which room are you in, sir? An engineer. No, like this is the bathroom. The setting. The fan has one setting, sir. No, I. We, no, just can you like, like flip a switch or something down there and like. I don't know, we give do it not a have boost. any controls to any breakers down here at the front desk, sir. No, I mean like even for like the ACs, and I, I know there's gotta be like an override, like a maximum, like a full power mode, like you know, like how they it, when you want it to re- like really go. When, if you hit like, the gray really... button in the center of the thermostat in your room, it should change fan settings. But if it does not give you any luck, I can send an engineer down there to take a look for you, see if they can get that running fan for you. Like all through that button, like underneath it and everything, and. Like, no, like no part of that like made it go any faster. Like we took that. Gotcha. Entire thing I can apart. send an engineer down for you, sir. Huh? No, we took it. No, they can't. Like we we have our we have our own engineers, sir, and we could not figure out how to make this button make it go faster. Like we need some. We need more power from down there. I think. My engineers were saying you guys gotta flip the switch. Engineers, sir. Are you sure you have the right property, sir? This is the Double Tree Resort by Hilton. Yep, we got it. That's the one. Alrighty. So what can I help you with exactly? We wouldn't have any breakers here on the front end. No, I have my my, my team of engineers here. Hell, engineers. Engineers. Uh, can you get on the line here, engineers? You need more power. He's got a I can, yeah. We, more power now. Yeah, see, they're all voting. I hear more, more power from one... I'm unsure to which location you might be talking about, sir. That would be an engineering right issue. We cannot divert any power here at the front desk. Oh, yeah. Can, Can you, you reverse the polarity of the divert. neutron flow? Divert the no, power. Like, the, the power, yes. Yeah. 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 Can you divert the power yeah. now? We, I we have cannot like, divert yeah. any power here at the front desk. There are no breakers here to divert power to. I think you could Use divert the some power if you really wanted Guys, to divert some power. I, I have several engineers here. Robot. It's taking up too much power. I have, sir, I have several engineers here. That they're all saying we need more power from the front desk. But he's giving you all he's there. got. So no, like just do the, whole the floor. second, yeah, yeah do the, the whole, whole floor. floor, like the whole thing. Like we gotta divert floor, all sir? power. Which room? Can you please divert all power? Like flip the switches. We get it's like you to the engineering department, sir. Yes, yeah, give me the engineering. Used to be there for you for that guy makes me room. really uncomfortable. Hello, is this the engineering? This is engineering. Yeah, I need Hello. you to, uh, to uh, divert all power up to the room, please. Divert all power to what room? To the bathroom. <laughs> You're a funny man. <laughs> Who is this? It's good. No, it like, transferred me from the front desk to you. Like, we're trying to get all power diverted up to the. Like, it's getting kind of smoky in here. Smoky where? Huh? <laughs> Oh, it's getting like we're, we're trying to make the bathroom fan go more. Like we took the buttons all apart, and like they said, they talk to you. Okay. Like maybe you could like send more power. Ashtray. Okay. What room are you in? No, this is in the bathroom. Where? What bathroom? In the no, in the room bathroom. Like they got this. Or hold on. Like I, I'm telling them to put the spark. Guys, no more sparklers for now. Okay. 
What the fuck? Just, no, we, oh, we man. Get this handled for sparklers. Can we still do the snakes? No, no more until we get this figured out. Come on now. Pop rocks. All right, we, Ooh, all right. Pop rocks. Kinky. Sir. Well, I thought we were perverts. Hello. For calling the Double Tree by Hilton, Phoenix, Tempe, with space. Fuck. Please hold on while I try that extension. Oh, could I have done a room? A lot of clicking. Don't be Tempe. This is Becca. How many assist you? Becca, I I fucked up. Um, you know how the phones are connected through wires into the walls and stuff. Uh huh. I had taken mine out to try and switch them around to try something different with it. And now the phone in the room, it's no good at all. Okay, and what room are you in? I don't want to say because I don't want to get hit with a charge. Do you know anyone who's good at these? Because I kind of ripped them all out. I cut one of them and then I turned it around the other way and I tied it back in there. Like with a, I have a little clip I put on. Okay. Um, I thought I that would make the phone louder, but it made it not work at all. Uh, the only person I know is their maintenance guy, and he would have to know your room number. Can he? Can, can you? Can you talk me through it? He's gone for the day. Okay. Let me ask you this: Do a lot of the guests? If I just put it, because I can get it to go and like snap all the pieces back together and screw this thing back up on the wall, but it's not going to work at all. Do a lot of your guests use the phone, or do you think that there's a chance that if I just leave it like this, I might not get caught? Some phones don't work. I mean, I can just let my maintenance guy know that the phone stopped working, and then he can figure it out from there. Next time, for the next guy. I don't want it tied to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. But uh, we didn't even know what room number you're in. That way they know. No, that that's okay. Phone. I don't want it tied to my account like that. Because I was going to go, um, was that a pop machine or is that a drink or a snack machine? Because sometimes you can get the screws on the side of that. Sometimes they're just regular, and you can take them right out, and it'll, the uh, whole front face plate will pop right off. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Oh, well, I was going to give it a try. I like to take stuff like that apart, and I take the wires out and stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know if you could do that. It's just, like I said, if the phone's not working, we can uh, call the company. No, no, no. We're going to move on. We're not going to worry about that. We'll just leave it for the next guy, and he can take the blame, okay? Okay. So I was saying, do you... um, No, I'll just go... I'll go fiddle with the snack machine and the drink machine. I'm going to see if I can get into them, okay? Okay. I'll just leave the phone alone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Double tree by Hilton at Reed Park. I'm going to get your call. Hey, uh, a few of us were getting wild up here. Is it okay if we just got loose? <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, well, if you, like a few of us were getting kind of wild up here. Is it okay if we just go ahead and cut loose? I'm sorry, where are you? Oh, up, oh a few of us are in the bathroom right now. I mean, we're just getting a little wild, but we just want to know if we can cut loose. We just fully, say fully cut loose. Thank you for calling the Double Tree here in Hattiesburg, oh, Mississippi. Jesus. This is Michael speaking. How may I help you? Michael, I think I made a mistake. Um, I had met two guys on Craigslist and I invited them up to my room, and I'm about 95% sure that they're in the bathroom cutting loose right now. I don't know what to do Excuse here. Me? I think they're cutting loose in the bathroom. Um, I what barely know room these guys. Are you? I don't want to get in trouble, and I don't want the cops involved or anything. I barely know these guys. But they they were talking about like getting down and like getting loose, and I think they're cutting loose right now. Hey, what room are you in? They're in the bathroom. I'm out here and I'm in the corner, so they can't hear me. Okay. All right. I, I think they're cutting loose. They're not supposed to do that, are they? No, sir. I didn't think so. Uh, uh, let me let me walk in there real quick. Please don't. I'd have to. I don't have my. I don't have my shoes on, and I have a, a toe fungus. I don't want you to see it. And sir, I won't look down. But okay, fine. All right, I'll unlock the door. Just come in here. Get these guys out of here, man. They're cutting loose. Okay, I'm coming. All right, all right. I'll unlock the door. Thank you. Thank 
you for calling Doubletree by Hilton Billings. For reservations, please press... You are being transferred to the operator. Thank you for calling the Double Tree by Hilton in Billings. This is Nathan. How can I help you? Nathan, hey, I, Nathan, I, I ingested a large amount of marijuana and now I cannot find my shoes. That's great. Can you help me find my shoes? Uh, no, I'm not a shoe person. You gotta be able to find oh. them yourself. Can you help me sniff them out? Good evening. Thank you for calling the Double Tree by Hilton, Helena downtown. This is Preston. How Preston, can I help you? Preston, I I think I made an error in my judgments. Um, I know you guys don't like the smoking marijuana in the room, so I had taken some edibles, and I think I may have taken too many of them, and I can no longer find my shoes, and I really want to go get a cheeseburger. Okay. Is there a way that, do you have a, I don't, Instead of like a cheeseburger service or a shoe finding service or something. Either one would work out equally for me right now. And just really like maybe with bacon on it. No. Thank you for calling Double Tree by Houghton Missoula Trotter. For a man to our call. Well I'm trying to do for the corn down for the uh pipecast. And I don't even know where to begin up here in the room. I really I'm sorry. It's my first day doing this and I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. No, you're okay. What was that? I'm sorry. I'm oh, we're doing... Part. Okay, it's for the pipe cast. We're doing a corn down for like 14 days. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I don't, know, I don't know how to begin up here. With the quarantine? No, a corn down. It's like corn, like an ear of corn, you know? Or like a can uh-huh. of corn, or like... Um, have you ever had a corn dog? Yeah. Like the breading. Like a corn breading, yeah. And you- and what are you doing with it? For the pipe cast. For on, it's on an internet somewhere, I think. Hmm, I'm not really sure. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Because I've got, I took the panel off, all right, and I've got the wires out already. And I've noticed if you put the green one next to the blue one, like a spark will shoot across. So I'm thinking that those two probably shouldn't touch. But do you know how I, like, hook into this? Um, I'm I'm not really sure what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Well, okay, I'm just calling ahead because I know um, George had told me, because he's been doing this for a while. He's the one who trained me. I was kind of high, though. I wasn't really paying attention. He had said that if you touch the wrong wires together, the whole floor will go out. So I was just trying to prevent that from happening, especially with everything that's going on in the world today. I'd hate for people to get all panicky and shit, you know? So you're in the hotel trying uh-huh. to do that? Yeah. You got all the wires out. I and got... Then- um. And what's your name? Well, I got Alex here if you want to. He's, he's, um, I think he's drunk, but he's here and he can help. I think he is drunk though. Here, Alex, grab the phone. Uh, uh, hello? Hello. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah, which one? I know Hi. one of these wires, you short out one of the wires and you get like the free, the free channels on the TV. And we can hook it up, like, we gotta hook it up to the computer to, like, make it go with, with like, the, um, you know, like, with the call-ins and stuff. Um, and this is too, Alex? Yeah, I got the wires, like, I hooked up the wires, I plugged it, like, the extension cord, like, with the vacuum, I plugged that into the wall, and then I, the where, where the phone, the we, we plugged the phone wires into that, and now, now the phone... The phone doesn't work anymore, but I think the computer is working. Hmm. I am not sure what you what you guys are exactly trying to do. Oh, uh, we I was just the one with the, I got the wires, I got the tools and I was hooking it up and I think it's good now. So, I think Ted Brad Brad uh you got are you live yet? Is it live? Can oh. you hit the button again? Yeah, I no, think the it's lights live. Red. Yeah, the light went red. Ma'am, you're live on the internet then. You're like right now. Yeah, you're live right now, ma'am. Yeah. So it's working then. Yeah, she's on the radio right now. Are you still there? Yeah. Did yeah, you guys figure it out? Yeah, you're live on the internet. Say hi to everyone. On the internet? For the corn down, yeah. Yeah. 
We're on the internet, on the Gerbil Internet radio show, and on 97.3. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> it says you're on the fucking radio. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to tell him? Give him a message. Like, say hi to your mom or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> am I actually on the radio? I'm so confused. Larry B. Larry B. is sending a comment. He says hi. Um, Labby the Rat says he wants to know if you have disabled porn. Like, I i don't know if he means that he wants the porn disabled in the room or if he wants, like, um, people with disabilities doing porn. But, um, yeah. Okay, well, I gotta go, but <laughs> it was a good call. Okay, thank you. Good night. The, they want to know if you like cutting loose, though. Oh, yeah, do you like to cut loose? That's what we're asking everyone on 97.3, the, the porn. Yeah. 